Welcome to the Two Minute Drill, where the News Herald Sports staff debates anything and everything. Today's topic, the Super Bowl. My name is Shane Preston. I'm Sam Elliott. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the Super Bowl. Um, there are a lot of storylines in this game that I'm going to choose to leave out, mainly Ray Lewis, because he is at best the, best the fifth most important player um, between the two teams, and he's not even the most important middle linebacker. I think Patrick Willis is going to have a bigger impact in this game. Uh, in my opinion, there are a few things to keep an eye on. Um, the respective running games for both teams, uh, Frank Gore and Colin Kaepernick, obviously, for the Niners, and uh, Ray Rice, and a personal favorite of mine, who I've developed a very strong liking for this year, is uh, rookie Bernard Pierce for Baltimore. It seems like he's ripping off eight yards a carry. Uh, he's averaging 6.3 for the uh, in the postseason so far. Both are looking very nice. Um, I think that both rush defenses, while they are relatively stout, are going to have a hard time shutting down the opposing running game. And I know a lot of people have been talking a lot about Joe Flacco and how big he's been in big games in recent years, specifically in the postseason. Um, one of the big things to keep an eye on in this game is that rush, is that uh, pass rush that San Fran did a very nice job of all year. Alden Smith, 19, 19 and a half sacks. It's been very quiet in recent weeks. Uh, does not have a sack throughout the postseason. As a team, they have two. I think if Flacco stays upright, they're going to give the Niners a lot of problems with that uh, passing game. What are your thoughts? Um, I think the opposite way. I'm going to go with the 49ers. Um, I think that even though it is only uh, Kaepernick's third, tenth start, <laughs> um, I think he's got some running and passing abilities that Baltimore will not be used to. Mm -hmm. um, plus, I think Ray Lewis is way overrated. <laughs> so what do you got for a final score? Um, I'm going to go with 27-24, 49 Okay, you're, you're killing me because I like that <laughs> score. That's a score I've actually heard quite a bit. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be super high scoring, but at the same time, I'm not sure what the over-under is set at. I, I think there will be some points scored. We're not going to be talking in the 40s or anything, but I could see something like a uh, 30 for Baltimore. I'll say 30 to 24. So I'll go one more field goal than you will. That's another thing. It's I know that... People don't like to give kickers too much credit, but David Akers has been struggling this year. Um, and I like that kicker over at uh, Baltimore, so he could end up making a difference. I see him kicking through a few. Uh, but overall, I hope it's a nice game. I hope it's a fun game. Uh, Hank always likes games going to overtimes if they're between two teams that he doesn't have a vested interest in. I'm kind of the same way. Um, I think regardless, this will be one of the better Super Bowls that we've seen in a few years. And I just really, really, really hope that Dave Herndon is not correct with whatever his prediction is. So. <laughs> Enjoy the Super Bowl, and uh, well, we'll see you next week.